Greetings and welcome to Cosmeteer. The biggest issues we're currently facing besides my really shaky camera angles and the fact that view interest is declining, that's probably a me thing, I apologise, it'll be more exciting, is the fact that the warmongers are apparently mating with an asteroid. Not that. The fact that my fleet doesn't really have reason or rhyme. There's no real point for most of the ships. The whole point of a fleet is they are meant to complement and support each other. Not as in like, oh, you look fabulous in that dress. As in they're meant to absolutely, you know. What are you? You're just pushing a piece of dead shit. Wait, Gunwing? Was that mine? No, guess not. Probably part of this fleet. Yeah. Move. Okay, so there's nine targets here. It's the fact that most ships I have to kill or use is... How do I put it? They have to have a point. Like, I've got all of my ships actively, apart from this one being pushed by the MacGyver, which just looks horrifying, are now big railgun massive cannons. That's all they are, massive cannon ships. And that's cool and all. Or is it Tylenol? That's cool and all, but they, there's no real reason for most of them. Like, in the grand scheme of things, I don't ha like, I have two railgun designs. I have no EMP designs. I have no really good missile designs. That's the thing. Most of my designs are very much based around the whole. They all do the exact same thing. And that's not really the best, if I'm honest. Not really the best at all. I need my weapons to all be doing different situations. And again, that's very difficult. This is really in the way. Like, these ships are all designed for heavy, heavy artillery combat. That's literally what they do. They're heavy artillery combat ships. They don't do anything else. At all. Already oh, killed it. So I'm thinking it's time for a more important design style. A much more important design style. We need to figure out what my ships do and why they do it. Like this is meant to be a tank. It doesn't really do that much in the way of tanking. The support ships are not fast enough. They need more in the way of actual support. But they're meant to be small support escorts. So they don't really do enough in the way of escorting either. Now they currently all have, apart from the railguns, big massive cannons. But we already have massive cannons. So that sort of rules that out. Yes, yeah, this needs better side thrusters. So what it does in fact need, probably going to bring a piece of my own ship with me, aren't we? Yeah. What it does in fact need... It's probably EMP and missile ships. Now, I do actually have a nuclear-capable bomber design. And also fighters. Fighters are like little eight, little four-man ships. They can be down to three men. They're literally designed for three-men fighter-support ships. And I have enough supplies and resources that I might start deploying them. They aren't the most useful of ships, but they are, in fact, ships. And that's another thing you, what you have to design your fleet for. If I really wanted to, I could probably completely fill this out further backwards and put eight or nine big massive cannons on it. These things here. To so fully load and fire, I need about between 12 and 18 men on each one. If I have 10 of those, that's 118 men. And that's literally it. That's a lot of cannons. That would decimate most things firing straight forward. If I have like another 60 or so people on the front running shields, that becomes quite impenetrable to a lot of weapons. I could easily build that ship. I could easily build just one big super ship. So my ships have to be powerful in their role, but not overwhelmingly powerful that nothing else can do any roles. Which is another situation you have to do when running ship fleets. Look, these little ships, they're based around a maximum of, let's see, 24 people. Still might get rid of that. I think I, this is probably the undone one. Maybe around to 20 people. It's not going to go over the 50 command points. So that'll be as it is. Let's see, are you 20? Yeah, you're 20. 
So yeah, stick around here. I can probably put another couple of little uh, side thrusters, but that's about it. They are not built around going any better. So that's what the fleet is all about. It's about basically, I guess, limiting yourself without actually properly limiting yourself. It's about having little ships cover each other's weaknesses. Like these forces here are meant to be like squadron commanders. They are the big heavies. They hold the line. So they can have like 75 odd people in them. And obviously when they come together, they're meant to do a lot of force. There's like nine cannons here. These three alone, there's... If I get rid of those four extra people, there'll be 60 people on these ships. And that's another three cannons. Three of these equal one of these. And of course, this thing takes the hits. Whereas one of these would probably melt. So that's what the whole fleet design philosophy is. People are telling me I could build much better. Yes, yes I can. There's so I can obviously optimise each one of these to great efficiency, but it's what the point of the ship is in the grand scheme of things. These are support units. These are frontline units. This is the anvil. Now I may have to change what I'm doing with certain things, but there you are. That's how it goes. No? Oh. That's literally how it is. These are the anvils. And as you can see, the anvils hit. Now the hammers hit hard. These are the hammers. Oh, they're both touching. Okay, good. These are the hammers. This is the anvil. The anvil needs a bit more work in the armament situation, but they are still there. These guys are meant to support. They're meant to be a lot faster. Right now, I think the Imperial Destroyer line is actually a lot faster than they are. Which, of course, is a bit of an issue. To put it bluntly, yeah. But there you are. So yeah, these ships take the hit. And you can see they take a fair bit of hits. They are still weak to the side. I could easily do something about that, but... I'm trying to make my ships have, you know, some level of weakness. Not major level of weakness, but some. This, of course, needs less weakness. This is just, I'm bad at designing a bigger ship. I've talked about it, I am bad at designing a bigger ship. I call missile ships. Okay. Come around, kill that. Okay, I want you to be there. I want you to stop doing the sideways thing. And come there. I want you to come around and hit that. There we are. Are you out of ammo? You are out of ammo. You've got like 30 rounds left. Okay. So you're going to come in and hit that as well. You're going to turn to here. But yeah. This is meant to be much more heavily armoured, so I've been working on that. It's got more point defence, but that's about it. These things will probably have better side thrusters, but that's also about it. See, this thing has major weaknesses here and here. Now that's behind it, it's probably going to be killed. Now that's an... it's a minor issue. I've got a lot of resources. I've, my carrier is completely and totally full. That gives you an idea of where we go with the design philosophy. The missile launchers also need to be moved, to be fair, but that's just a different thing entirely. So these ships are very much good at what they do. I could change them, maybe have a couple more missiles and things on the side, that's fine. There we go, it's dead. Switch up, move up, these killed that, that's gone down to there, this is on to here, you come round to here. So the, the smaller ships are meant to be assault and support ships. They aren't really assaulting or supporting, because they're not the fastest. So how do I make them faster? More engines. But to give them more engines, I might have to get rid of their big cannon. Of course, that would be a bit of an issue. Because of what they actually are. So I remove the cannon capability of them. I don't need to put something else in the way. But they are designed to flank and destroy. So I get rid of the cannon capability. Then they can't really support anything. Am I on fire? Can I repair in combat? Then why didn't you let me have the option? A fair bit of damage, but you know. It is what it is. Fire's always a problem. Any fire? Any fire? And that's the thing. It is what it is. So this ship needs to be more heavily armoured on the front. 
more point defense. That's why I have the point defense drone, which I'm going to keep making more of. Uh, these little ships need to be completely radically rehauled. Obviously, do you remember I used to have the raiders? Because when I was doing the piracy. So I could easily bring them back. And I, even, I, I might even do so. But the design philosophy of the fleet is what does each ship do? These guys are brawlers. These guys brawl and take the hits. Heavily armoured front, shielded front, massive cannons. These things take the hits and fight. Now I turn these things into EMP support ships. I then have to make sure they actually do their bloody job. Because as you may have noticed, they're not the best at what they do. So they now need to have better side thrusters and rear thrusters. Now, to get better rear thrusters, I'm going to need to put in, if I remember correctly, two more big, huge thrusters, like this. But then, I need more command rooms, but to do that I have to move two of these. Now, this makes it faster and more powerful, as you can see. But, yeah, now they can keep up and fight. But now they've got much in the way of side guns. The side guns are meant to be there, they're meant to be kind of point defence and firing. But with the deck cannon, are they even useful anymore? So a lot of what this is, is as I can say, talking about stuff, is actual design philosophy of... Get out, I'm just trying to steal my resources, of what the whole point of these things is. Uh, oh, you came nearby. So now this ship is, let's see, better? So now it should be a lot faster. We'll test that in a second. So let's have you go to here, and then you also go to here. Uh, repair. That's, you know, less point defence. So that now hits a nice speed of... Oof. 77, give or take? Yes, 76.5. Which obviously is a lot faster. But the side thrust is no longer good, so the only way that will work is if I micromanage a little bugger. Is that banner star? We're dead. Where was that? Just there. It's still alive. Oh, it's a, it's a salvageable one. There you go. There's a lot of markers on the map. So that now goes a lot better. 76.5. The original Infernium Mark 8 can only manage about 55? Maybe even less. It's already slowing down. Can't even hit 50. So I've added about nearly, I've added almost 30 speed to the ship. Almost 30 speed. That's obviously quite a lot of speed. But that makes these ships much more useful for flanking and support. The Imperial Destroyers, of course, need a bit more frontal armour. That's just a bit more uh, messing about, sorting it out. These ships will not change with the way their missile, their cannons are based. They may get a missile complement, but what they have, of course, is heavy frontal firepower. This ship, however, the uh, Warmonger, it will get altered. It always will. There's always things I can do with it. There will always be changes. Let's just do all of that while we're at it. There will always be changes. It's just a bounce of time. But yeah, the Infernium Mark 8, they need to have the big thrusters. They need to be able to keep up. But now, of course, that's another issue. Because of how they're designed, will they actually be able to support the big thrusters? That's another thing entirely. I've had this ship as a test before, and it couldn't keep up the thrusters. What's this, uh, number 24? Alright, so let's just do this. Can they keep up with the thrusters? It's hard to say. But now it's obviously placed better as a support ship. So it's okay, looks like they can keep up with it. So there we go. The Infernium Mark 9 is now designed to support. But it's obviously not the best ship for support. In reality, the cannon is useful, but it's not the main need. It allows it to give fire from the side and all that, but I don't really need it to do what it does. This, it no longer really fits its purpose, the purpose of which being was a support ship. In reality, two missile launchers would be a lot better. But again, these are slightly more expensive than the cannon, for some reason. Yeah, these are five each. How much is the cannon? 
Only eight. Oof. But having two missile uh, ships here, two missile launchers here, this is suddenly a much more powerful ship. But if I have the thrusters and so on, it's no longer as useful. If I want to make this a powerful, useful ship, I have to go past the limit and add in a second command deck. And that defeats the whole point of it being a cheap support ship. That's the roles I'm currently looking at. And obviously there's a lot more of those roles to do. So that's currently my design philosophy for those who are thinking about it. There's obviously only a couple of big fights. I'm actually going to start bringing in a lot more stuff very, very soon. You're going to see a significant increase to the fleet after in the next one. I'm going to talk about why I'm doing what I'm doing and what I'm doing why, which is the same thing. You personally would have to decide how you want to make your fleets. I just want to make sure that they are what they are. And... Yes, they're not meant to be the most powerful ships in existence. There's people out there who can make massive railguns, which can wipe out tie ships from a mile away. There's people out there who can make massive batteries. Again, like I said, I can put like 15 of the major deck guns on a big wide ship. It'll probably do significant amounts of damage. That's not what we're going for. We're going for a fleet with major weaknesses and also major strengths. I could easily fix a lot of the weaknesses. By making obviously more crew on per ship. Oh, joy. But that's not, again, not what we're going for. Uh, convergence, go. Okay. Infernium push. Turn. Yeah, we're having issues. We got, we got caught with our pants down. Okay. Okay, this, this, this more case has been hit. Major let. Okay, you're hitting it. Okay. Engage. Engage. Support the ship as it turns. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, we're about to lose the rear, that's fine. So yeah, this ship is meant to be weak to the rear most combat. It's meant to be weak to all sorts of side combats, but again, it is it is what it is. And that's the design philosophy I'm going for. They have to be complementary. I can't just make a super missile destroyer, which then doesn't support the rest of the fleet. That'd be an entirely different style. But something like this, you know, it's really, really powerful. It, it really is powerful for what it is. But if I used it, like I said, it's a couple of hundred crew. If I used it, I'd be building something different. And yes, this is how I do it. A lot of people just do what a couple of big super ships. I don't. I never have. That one's lost the rear. Okay, that one's dead. That's fine. So my support ships, like that's just gone, will require better side thrusters, better rear thrusters. That's fine. This, oh my god, has a bigger weakness we've just found out. If this reactor goes, it'll take out everything. That's new to me. That's good to see. Not really, but you know. And these, these require more side thrusters too. As you can tell by the fact that they're barely moving. They can't flank. They are very much only designed for major assaults. And that's not good, because they're not meant to be for major assaults. They're meant to be supporting the dead warmonger. So we'll repair that with my massive supply of resources. Seriously, the shipyard back at home is full, the carrier's full. There's a second shipyard now, by the way, of stored ships. I'm going to start bringing in the fleet. So the warmonger may be temporarily retired, so I can actually start bringing in more things. Because the warmonger has, I'm going to say, temporary issues? But yeah, that's the design philosophy of me building this fleet. I want to make sure things work. I'm going to be bringing in more fighters. I'm going to be bringing in more everything. It just is what it is. That was just bad. Yeah, that was interesting. So yeah, the warmonger needs better heavier frontal armour. Better heavier frontal shield. To do that will require hundreds more... Stop, stop being on fire. Hundreds more resources. Hundreds more crew. 
But obviously I don't really want to fully do that. As you can probably tell. So what I'm going to do is diversify the fleet. Prepare them for more combat. I might even have to, I said I don't want to do this, go to creative testing. So the ne next one will be me creative testing actual ships. You'll be seeing fleet creation, fleet construction. But this one is just how to build a fleet design, design philosophy. And I've been the Fallen Shogun. Maybe you've hated this, maybe you haven't. We'll see, we'll see on who says what and how many people watch for only three minutes. Either way, this is mostly unedited, as you can probably tell. Goodbye, good luck.